Hello and welcome to Paul's Model Train Stuff. <clears throat> Today I want to show you a new delivery. I ordered, uh, did a bid on some trains online and uh, I got a lot more than I bargained for. Um, I'm going to show you some of the st cool stuff that was in the delivery. First of all this, this is a uh, dummy locomotive. Uh, by Lima, it's a uh, E919, it's a South African uh, South African model train, it's a um, uh, model train version of their class 5E1, I'll put a link in the description to that one, and it's uh, in very good shape, um, it's nice and heavy, it's got no scratches, no dents, nothing as if it was straight out of the box and that's the only thing that's missing, that's the box. But since it's a dummy, it can't uh, it can't drive. It was used to be um, a part of a bigger train set where you would put this on one end and the real locomotive on the other end and uh, they would drive together. So that's one. The other one I got, this was the big surprise, a Boston and Maine uh, made by uh, Mehano in, um, let's see, Slovenia. Um, I've lived in uh, in Maine for a while, so this was a really nice surprise to, to get a, a train like this. It doesn't fit at, uh, with my railway at all, it's all European. Uh, but this is just a very nice model. It's again nothing on it is broken. Everything is uh, is in, in 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 good shape. It runs very well, um, and it's it's humongous. Now together with this, this is just part one. I also got a few of these good wagons that go with it. And oh, knocking things over here, an old-fashioned goes for at the uh, at the rear. So this is it, it's a complete set. Um, but as I said, I don't I don't have any other materials that uh, were, um, that are non-European. So I um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it uh, with this. I like it because yeah, I lived there for a while, but. Yeah, also, all of these are missing the, um, the, the, the little, how do you call it, the hinge? They mi are missing that part. So, there is only one way you can uh, have them all connected. Although I know this, they, these are replaceable, so before I do anything with it, I'll probably get that all sorted out. And uh, then I'll, uh, I'll see if I'm going to run it, or maybe someone wants to... Uh, Give me a good price for it, and then uh, I'll probably sell it. And lastly, last one is this. This is um, uh, this is made by Lima in Italy. It's um, an old steam train. They put the whole engine block, squished it in here. That's why it has this this low end here. Uh, these these were um, these will say sold a lot in the Netherlands in the in the 70s and 80s um, as a in, a in a starter kit. I already had this one that that's um, without the wheels and some screw in here, and uh, now this is how it actually should look. It is complete without a screw and. Uh, and now I notice why the screw is there to actually be able to connect it to the locomotive. So I'm happy with this. With this all, um, I was just gonna get this, uh, these two, and some other trains I've already tucked away. They're not as interesting, and I got a whole lot more. So thank you. I'm very very happy with this, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this. 
and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.